This video aims at providing a brief overview of the Agent Awareness module or ALGAV. Um, this is basically a Firefox or Pro Chrome uh, plugin that each agent can use. Um, the reason for, for developing this is that in some uh, high performance um, call centers, uh, which may have large and geographically distributed uh, agent groups, it's, it's really necessary to have a better level of performance awareness by the agents and also to, uh, to have a live communication line between the supervisors and uh, the agents. So the um, the agent uh, awareness uh, client has has been developed um, in order to be embedded, be it in Chrome or Firefox. At the moment, we are looking at uh, at a, a Chrome browser, and we can see that the the Agav client is is within this icon here. So if we just uh, click on the icon, what we can see is, is the information that an agent would, would view. So we, we can see the information, the basic information for that agent, and also the agent can, can see values that we allow, we set for the agent to be able to see. In this case, for example, there's an average call length. Um, be it for the inbound or for the outbound queues that the agent is uh, is logged on to. Uh, we also have a, an option here um, to um, to begin a chat session. Um, below this, we can see that there there is a message which is a meeting at 4 p.m. Now the, this this message um, was sent by. Um, by in this case we can see demo admin and the time so a supervisor can actually communicate briefly uh, with his agent at any stage um, the way this is done is that the um, if we just uh, have a look at the um, at the at the broadcast um, the broadcast page in Qmetrics, we can enter a message in here, uh, select the, the for which queue we want the message to go to, the location, um, is it for everyone, yes or no, and then we can detail the agent or, or group of people that it's aimed at. Uh, once we save, that message is sent and it is then received by the relevant people. Um, the um, the other thing we can see here is the that these, these values are in uh, in uh, yellow or in red. Now the, these values are are set in Qmetrics uh, within our um, our Q uh, details settings. If we could just go down to the bottom here, we can see we have agav alarms. So we we can set values for these uh, various options, and then we can select if we want these to be to be shown to the agent yes or no um, if we just go back to the uh, to the home page um, if we um, if we look at um, a standard Qmetrics agent page uh, what what we'll see is exactly the same information so here's the uh, the Agave information and here is the message as well um, if we should uh, perhaps have a look at a um, uh, uh, and, and uh, if we should have a look at the um, uh, standard uh, Firefox page, we c we can have the client shown as a sidebar. So we have exactly the same information as what we saw for Chrome. The difference is uh, just that it's shown as a, as a as a sidebar. However, as we can see, the um, the agent can. Um, can perform um, other tasks while while being aware of what is going on um, in the call center and uh, being aware of his or her performance at the same time. Um, as an administrator, we we access the uh, the agent awareness um, manager from the home page, and what we can see here is we can see the 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 two uh, the the two queues. Um, 
uh, that uh, are or have been processed, and we can see values of when the when the the run started and ended, or how long it took in milliseconds. We can perhaps update it now, and in absolute milliseconds, we can see the values being updated. Um, down here in the system status, uh, we can see the number of entries per status plus the database size. We then have uh, the option to restart the the Agave runner. Uh, which uh, this is in case it may have stopped or perhaps if the server should freeze or restart or whatever we, this is where we can here we can install the, our new key and then we have a manual table um, a database um, maintenance um, so a manual table cleanup if um, if required um, we have other tabs at the top. If we just have a look, we have the agent tab. Uh, so this allows us for any agent to be able to view uh, the relevant um, statistics, be it for the, for the queue or for the agent. Uh, we also have the um, the logs page. Uh, the, the logs page uh, will show us the log of the activity for both the queue runner and for each agent. This 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 allows us really to um, to see uh, real uh, real life performance. Uh, in case of any errors, uh, the relevant lines are displayed with uh, with a red dot. Um, just just to to give you an overview of the uh, of the Agave implementation, it's divided into three logical logical elements. We have the configuration, the supervisor access part, which is done through Qmetrics. Um, supervisors and managers can monitor the Agave modules through the program. Um, give of course if given the correct security keys to do so um, and they can also both send and remove broadcast messages to agents. Uh, we then have the queue runner which is a command line uh, Java program that runs statistics for all the defined queues and agents. Uh, this doesn't have any visible uh, interface and the queue runner can, can reside on a separate server from the main Qmetrics instance. The, 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 the third element is the, the Aga facades. The facades are the access points for each agent to log on and be able to see their own statistics. Um, they run in a servlet container and are positioned under the Qmetrics web app. The facades are not strictly speaking a part of Qmetrics and are thought of to be deployed on a separate server to handle uh, very high uh, loads. Uh, so something else um, I would uh, like to add about the, the Agave runner is that it requires uh, a separate license uh, from Qmetrics as it, as it is a Qmetrics add-on. So just, just, to, just to wrap up as to uh, what Agave is and what it allows us to, to view, it allows an agent um, to, to see uh, a, a wealth of information uh, about how he or she and uh, the queue are performing. Um, also, of obviously, there's a large set of metrics. Um, so, obviously, the, the 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 agent's feedback is absolutely absolutely immediate. It's also a way for the agents to get in touch with uh, the supervisors using, as we saw before, uh, using the the chat channel, which we saw here. Um, so they. They can keep on working with with really no downtime while while exchanging messages uh, with uh, with uh, supervisors or um, tier two uh, ex experts or, or so and so on. And, and, and then, as we saw down here, it's a way for a supervisor to send targeted broadcast messages to, to, to his or her own agents, making it feasible to monitor uh, geographically dispersed agents. If you require any further details about um, about the the Agave module, um, we do have information on our website www.qmetrics.com. Um, and however, if if you require f further information, please feel free to contact us uh, at the email address support at lowway.ch.